My name is Richard Rama. I am the head of the Information Services Department here at Infectious Disease Institute, Makere University. Um, my professional background is in statistics. I hold a Master of Statistics Computing Option degree. And uh, my work experience has largely been in the area of software development and data management. Uh, in terms of my day-to-day -day activities here at IDI, I am in charge of a team of about 20 uh, data managers, IT staff, software developers, and knowledge management officers, as well as GIS professionals. So that is what my day-to-day -day work revolves around. Of course, on top of being in charge of that team, I happen to get quite heavily involved in day-to-day -day software development as well as data management, even though I am the head of department. Now, IDI is a non-government organization belonging to Makerere University, and um, its core functions are to do with research, training, prevention, care, and treatment, and lab laboratory services in the areas of HIV AIDS and related infectious diseases. Um, my department, that is the Information Services Department, is typically what in some places is called the IT department. But in my case, IT happens to be just a section within the department. So my department has got four different sections, each of them headed by a section manager. The first section is IT, which is in charge of IT infrastructure management and setup, networking, security, as well as hardware uh, management and installation. So that is headed by the IT manager. And it is this section within my department which implements our activities with respect to REN because of the nature of the section. The second section within my department is data management. The data management section is in charge of all the data, a vast amount of which is collected and managed internally here at our data center. So we have a number of uh, database systems which we have developed locally here. And the data in those systems is used for management purposes and a lot of it also for research purposes, IDI being a research-based organization. So the data management section is led by a data manager and on a day-to-day -day basis, they provide our users with data for various purposes. The third section in my department is software development. The first one, obviously, is the reduced unit cost of bandwidth. Prior to joining Reno, the average unit cost for bandwidth which we were paying was U, United States dollars 600 per Mbps per month. By the time we joined Reno, at the beginning of Reno, that is in March 2015, we were paying Reno, so that was a significant drop from the 600 US dollars which we were paying to commercial providers. Now, since March 2015, when the unit cost of 
bandwidth by Reno was 180 US dollars. Up to now, the unit cost has been reduced progressively. And as I speak now, the unit cost bandwidth by Reno is United States dollars 95 per Mbps a month. This in itself has been a big savior to IDI's budget. And it is really important for the sustainability of IDI as it provides very important services to people living in HIV AIDS. Uh, re closely related to the reduced cost of bandwidth is obviously the fact that um, the amount of bandwidth which we use has also progressively increased. By the time we joined Reno, or prior to joining Reno, IDI was consuming just about six Mbps of internet. Today, under Reno, we are consuming up to 35 Mbps bandwidth, which is a significant increment. We are now able to use those technologies, which in the past we were not able to use. Technologies such as voice over internet protocol, we are now able to use VoIP telephone system. Things like data replication across the two sides are now possible, whereas in the past there were simply things we couldn't even dream about. We have a lot of systems which we have developed, like I said before, developed by our software developers. Now, most of these systems are hosted here in Mulan, and yet our staff at Makerere have to constantly access these systems. Many of them are management systems. The other key benefit which we have derived from Reno as IDI is to do with capacity building of the IT staff. Today, as I speak, all the IT staff members at IDI have received training which has been sponsored by Reno. Again, this can be easily related to our budget management in the sense that we have been able to save a lot of money which we would uh, otherwise spend in training our staff. One of the key benefits we have derived is what is actually going on currently at IDI, the direct engineering assistance. That has been made possible through Reno and NSRC. We are truly, truly grateful for this direct engineering assistance, which, by the way, has also come with equipment donation. Um, the challenges which may need to be looked into by Reno. First of all, I think Reno has done a lot. As far as IDI is concerned, since we joined IDI, there was quite a bit of downtime of internet provided by Reno. But today, the situation has significantly improved. It is much, much better. And we believe that with continuous effort being put in by the able Reno team, the situation is going to get better and better. So that has been a major challenge. We hope that Reno does not take it as a matter which has been resolved. It should remain to them as a challenge by making sure that whatever amount of downtime still occurs today, however infrequent it is, should be reduced to near zero. Implore them to look into is the matter of innovating new ideas. We think that with these vast resources available, the Reno team should be able to come up with very innovative ideas which can make us maximize 
use of the available resources. We shouldn't look at what we have right now as being the ultimate. So we should take advantage and think outside the box. And finally, the one challenge I would like to throw at Reno is related to the Reno network coverage in Uganda. We hope that Reno will keep expanding its network in Uganda because from IDI's perspective, we have a presence in most of the districts in Uganda. In other words, we have branches throughout Uganda. So we look forward to such a time when we are able to connect many of our branch networks to the center here in Kampala. Once we achieve that, then we shall be able to make free calls, free telephone calls, for example, over the Renault network, and that will significantly help IDI in maximizing benefits of being part of Renault. Once again, my catchphrase for Reno has become IDI is very proud to be a member of Reno. Thank you very much.